Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. It's been a minute since I put a video out, but I've been a little bit busy working on a couple of different projects, and I promise when they're ready, I will have videos on them. Hopefully they'll be something you'll enjoy. But I did want to do a quick update on the long wire antenna. I don't know if you can see it very well in the frame there, but it's still up. We've had a couple of windstorms. For those of you that saw the shorts that I put out during the snow, it survived the ice and the snow fine, and it actually came back up to its full height once the snow and ice got off of it. We've got another snowstorm coming this week, so we'll see how well it holds up the second time. And in the meantime, I do have something that hopefully will be interesting for you. I don't usually do guest spots. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I had to come inside. I seem to pick the windiest, bitterest days to do my videos outside, and I thought I could get this whole intro done, but we're going to finish the rest of it in here. So where was I? Yeah, I don't normally do guest spots, but I'm cheating a little bit this month, and my friend Emil sent me a video that he thought you all might enjoy. If you don't know Emil, he is also known as the Cheap Old Man. He is one of the co-hosts on the Amateur Logic TV podcast. If you don't know Amateur Logic, you should check them out as well. George, Tommy, Mike, and Emil do some pretty neat projects and pretty neat segments on all kinds of stuff that's interesting to ham radio. So check them out. There's links in the description. So back to this video, Emil found a pretty cool hack for the ICOM ID51HT. That's a dual band with dual simultaneous receive HT. And he found a hack to make it receive actually four different things at the same time. So check this out. Hey, Tom and Ham Radio A to Z viewers. Every once in a while, being the cheap old man has its advantages. And I try to do a look back over my shoulders and get the most out of what I have and see if I can't figure out anything new. Well, this time around, using my ID51A from ICOM, I figured out how to uh, multitask for uh, for us uh, afflicted people who like to have the radios doing uh, lots of things simultaneously. Um, you can see on the uh, main display there on the top side there is the my uh wpsd hotspot frequency here that's local to the house via the internet on d star uh then at the uh bottom part or if i make that bigger um the uh is a local uh repeater i shouldn't say local it's 15 miles away uh vhf repeater that i can hit from the house here and um, if you notice, in the bottom right-hand corner of that is the WX symbol. That's because the radio is also scanning for the weather channel alerts that might happen. So imagine the analog side, the D-Star side, and the weather side all simultaneously. Um, happening well that's not what I figured out <laughs> it's, it's pretty darn good from a very capable radio obviously but um, why not one more right so I figured if I could also listen to or put in the standby our local radio stations here um, which I'll turn down just because of copyright fun but uh, the broadcast radio so if you notice it's up right now and if i had the volume up you would hear that you would hear that station as well as the d star traffic going on in the background or um the analog but if i hit the main dual button it looks like it disappears right however it's still playing and when there is traffic on the d star side it'll kind of mute that traffic off and you'll hear what's on the hot spot so some might think hey you know it's a lot of stuff happening all at the same time but 
I really like getting the most, being the cheap old man, out of these radios and seeing what uh, they're capable of. And like I said, the ID51 from ICOM is very capable. I'm sure there's other uh, features too on the uh, maybe the ID52 side, but uh, figured I'd, I'd uh, take it out on the porch and uh, see what I could get it to do. So there you go. That's a cheap old man getting the most out of my rigs moment for you tom so thanks for what you do and uh seven three the cheap old porch moment i think that was a pretty cool hack and a good way to get a little bit more out of the radio so those of you that own an id51 hopefully that was helpful to you if you enjoyed this video or you found it useful i'd appreciate a click on that like button if you find the channel useful Please consider subscribing and click on that bell icon so you'll get notified when new videos come out. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.